Hey there, it's Dr. Tom with EVM Fitness Solutions, and I want to go over setting up bands when doing any kind of a barbell bench press. The setup is similar to setting up for the barbell squat, any kind of a back squat, something like that, but because the bar position is lower, it's going to present a couple of different challenges, and then depending on what you have as far as pegs or if you're using a dumbbell, you may want to set the bands up in a couple of different ways. So I actually have pegs set up at two different heights to kind of show you what I mean. This one here is set almost to the floor, similar to where a dumbbell would be. This one here is raised up a little bit higher, and as you can see, there's a ton of slack in this band. This is going to be very difficult to make work because it's so high up off the ground. So that's probably not going to work well for that one. Using the lower peg here, I could wrap this thing around a certain number of times, two, three, maybe up to five, right, wrap it around to get the right amount of tension on the band um, if you're using the lower height. What's probably going to work best for a lot of the bench pressing stuff that you're going to use, whether you have the pegs or whether you have a dumbbell, is to use a smaller band, one of the mini ones here, loop it underneath and then pull both ends up like this and hook it on the bar that way. So you don't need a thick band for that. This little band here doubled up on each side is going to provide a significant amount of tension even though it's a tiny little band because you're still going to add you know, weight on top of the bar in addition to the band. So in most cases for setting up with the bench press, you're going to set up with something like this. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the type of dumbbell you use kind of matters. Make sure it's kind of heavy. And if it's not the hexagonal kind here, if it's actually round, what you want to do is put some plates next to it to secure it from rolling around. You don't want to have you trying to bench press and all of a sudden your dumbbell takes off and goes for a ride here. So if you don't have these kind, take some small uh, two and a half or five pound plates and wedge them next to the dumbbell to keep it from moving around. But you're going to want to use, even with the peg, I could also use a similar setup depending on the type of peg you have, where I could loop here and then pull up from there. For the bench press, that's probably going to be the best idea because as you lower down, you don't want to have a ton of slack in the band, and by doubling it up this way, you'll minimize that slack in the bottom position, but have a good amount of tension as you press towards that top position.